you who have problems, come to me. Come to me, says Jesus, and I will give you freedom. Make America repent again, Father God. Make America bow their knees towards you, only one of Israel. Holy one of Israel, God Almighty. Make America repent and bow. Because in the beginning it was a Christian nation. And then they you will show up when somebody has a dead end in their life, God. Then you will show up. You pray the beautiful prayer, God. Only you, Jesus. Only Jesus Christ will save you. Only Jesus Christ will give you. What about you, young man? Let me give you a flyer. Repent. God loves you. Jesus loves you. He will love with you. Only Jesus. Okay. Yes. People. Yes. Don't love you. God has called all nationalities, Chinese, Asian, Americans, Mexicans, Russians, Ukrainians, doesn't matter what you call us here, to repent and give your life to Him today for you. You're not going to live today. Your life, it can be destroyed today because the devil's job, he can steal you and destroy, and he will destroy you when you give a place to Him. The prideful man. He doesn't want nothing to do with prideful. He is a humble God. He's a gentleman. And he is calling you to repentance. He brought us here so we can tell you about his love. So we can tell you only Jesus Christ can save you. Only Jesus Christ walking us. Come and pray for you. In the name of Jesus, the devil is exposed. Thank you, Father, for your power, for your authority to Jesus. I give you praise. You are Хорошее место. Но мы еще придем сюда, да? Да, Виктор, ты сегодня был молодец. Слава Богу. Open your testament. I want to encourage you. Open. Open Gospel of John. Open Word of God and read. And 316, how God loves you very much. And cry Jesus. He is the Lord. He is the Son of God. But he decided to quit heaven. For you and for me. And he took a flag. And a board on the earth. We just celebrated recently Christmas. But Christmas, it's not about the gifts. Christmas is not about Santa Claus. Christmas, it's not about snow. I live in Ohio, we have a lot of snow. But we are here. But Christmas is about the Jesus Christ. It's not about you and me. It's not about me. And what he did it on the cross. When he took your my sins, your my transgressions, and went to the cross, and was crucified and killed for you and for me, that today we could have hope. That's why we are here to remind you that you have hope. Even if you are in darkness, even if you do not see the future of your life, there is a future in Christ Jesus who is the way to be saved. He is the light, the light of the world. And he came into this world not to condemn. Jesus came into this world not to condemn but to have a home. Not to condemn you but to have a home. And he died for your sins. He rose from the grave. On the way for our sanctification. That's why this is a wonderful news. Because Jesus forgives sins and 
sin, any sin. Jesus forgives the sin. Just repent. And I know that it's a mercy from God, mercy of the heavens. You need to ask the Lord. I could only share this wonderful news and then share it by the God who has a mercy of repentance for you. But you need to ask for faith as well. That you could believe in the Holy One of Israel, God of Abraham. That you could believe in the Jesus Christ, God's Father, only begotten Son, who is the Lamb of God and was slaughtered and shed His blood. Because the only blood of Jesus could wash and cleanse you. And only blood of Jesus which already destroyed demonic chains and the devil on the cross. And you could be free. I, you feel my accent. And I came to America many years ago. You feel my Russian, Russian accent. But I love this country. And we always had a, we had a desire to live in America. And we always want to be free. Because I born in a Soviet and other communist people who I wrote at the time when I lived in the former Soviet Union. I was an unbeliever. My mother Jewish. My father Muslim. I grew as a Shia Muslim. But one day I got a Bible. And I started reading Living Word of God. And it brought me to salvation. God gave me faith to believe. And he who prayed in heaven and earth, and he's begun to start to pay the price on the cross for me as well. And God gave me mercy of repentance. And I repented and accepted Jesus by his grace. And I have a Savior. I have a Redeemer. I know that my sins forgiven. What about you? God wants to forgive your sins because God wants to save your souls. And God wants to see you in heaven, not in a hell. And have a much better than life here on the earth. Even if you are a top richest person on earth, you cannot take anything with you. And even if you are top richest person on earth, you also cry. And you also sin as the old people born in sin by Jesus forgiveness. Jesus, his blood, his shed, covers us, protects us. And you see what's going on in the world. I believe myself that Jesus is coming back very soon. And I see big problems on our whole earth and also in our country. Maybe you remember, I think you know that Mr. President Trump, he says his statements, Make America great again. It's a great statement, but I say it, it's much more blessed if you want to say, bring America back to the Lord of God. Bring America back to repentance. God gave you mercy to Americans to repent. If you want to say this, I believe we want to see much different situation today that we see today. But anyway, everything going what God decides. Not what devil wants, but what God wants. Because God is a king, and he keeps everything under his control. I don't know, dear souls, how many years God allowed me to continue to live. How many years you go until the heat. But maybe this day will be the last day for me. But I know that I see Jesus in much better place. And I'll live forever, even if I die today, I will see Jesus as my Redeemer. But Bible says that one day we're all going to die and stand in front of God to respond for our life. But only in Christ, people who are past will see him as a Redeemer, Savior, or will make him as a judge. As a judge. And it's going to be too late. But until you're still alive, you have a hope. Until you're still alive. But anyway, the Bible says that the period of grace will live when we could be forgiven and saved by the faith God gives in Jesus Christ. It's also temporarily. It's a temporary. 
it's finished. It's why we say this is end times. And I want to encourage you to read the Bible. I want to encourage you to open the word of God and read about the Lord Jesus. Because Christ is very hard. You could die forever, but you not choose that. Choose life. Jesus is alive. Lord Jesus. Jesus is not just a man, a prophet, or archangel. Jesus is the Lord. And we are here to proclaim the way of Christ. And we are here to declare that the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Kingdom of heaven is at hand. But you could have a kingdom of heaven in your hearts. With a peace. By knowing that your sins forgiven. And you see. God will forgive you if you repent and admit your sin. And come to Jesus. I cannot bring you to Jesus. I cannot repent and stay on you. You need to make your own decision. But it's my fault. Mercy and grace of God. Where are you going to go? Sure, we all have a how to live. But I already mentioned, even today, God can call me to you to have. I could die. I could die. You could die. May Lord bless you to live much more. But we all could die. We all could die. But if you deny, Jesus Christ, your life is just a waste. And your money or whatever will not help you. Only Christ, which your purpose living on earth, so waste. And our Christ, Lord Jesus, is my salvation. And I'm praying that Christ Jesus will be your salvation. Will be your salvation. His name, Yeshua. Jesus means Yahweh salvation. God is my salvation. Yeshua HaMashiach, Messiah of Israel, Savior of the world. Almighty oh God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, He sent His begotten Son, that the Suhaba believing in Him will not be perish, but have an everlasting life. Pray about yourself. Maybe you don't know how to pray. We are here. Maybe you are suffering a lot. We, we, we could pray for you in the name of Yeshua, in the name of Jesus. Maybe you have a lot of questions. Please see us. We are here. We'll ask the Lord to give us a wisdom according to the word of God to respond if you have questions. Maybe you never read the Bible. We have a Bible. It's a free Bibles. More than gold. What of God more than diamonds. What of God only could bring you to salvation. We all need to be saved because we all born in sin. And the penalty is death. But then still you punish us, Father said he's begotten a son. If we do cry, if somebody going to make a cr cry, he should be arrested. We have a constitution. In this country, we have a law. And we must to be taken to see a judge. And judge, 100%, will send us to jail. It depends the crime, but we must respond. We must answer. But God, choose the mercy over than his judgment. And stay to punish us, because we are guilty. We are guilty. He said he is God's son, who is the shield of grace. And he, Lord Jesus, he received the wrath of God, which should come on us and destroy us. But Jesus Christ received this wrath because God is holy and he cannot close his eyes when we see. That's why. We say that today's day of grace and mercy. That's why we call this news as a wonderful news. Gospel about our Jesus Christ. The joy we could have in Jesus. And my Lord bless you. Do you remember this? That you choose the Christ, choose the law. You are free to make decisions how you want to live at any style you want to live. But remember, 
Right, it's a right, and wrong, it's a wrong, and sin, it's a sin. For all your life, you will respond one day in front of God when you'll stand to see Jesus. Lord Jesus, face to face. I'm here now so that you have afraid or scared. I'm here to let you know what would happen and what will happen. Not just the good, could, because the Bible, and I believe in the Bible. I believe in the Bible, what's we'll written. And I have a lot of proofs the Bible is the word of God, especially through the prophecies which we see today, they are all fulfilled. You will see Lord Jesus face to face, but how? As the Redeemer, to enter the kingdom of heaven, where you're never going to cry again, where, we never, where you're never going to sin again, where you're never going to die again, or you see Jesus as a judge. But until you're still alive on earth, you have a hope, and you die, you go home. But if you see Jesus as a judge, no hope, because you will be sent to hell. But we are here with the love of Christ, who calls you to repent. We are here to remind you that God loves you very much. He died for you. Just to think about that somebody died for you, and it's not just a man. Because men cannot die for somebody in a way to forgive the sins of somebody. Lord himself died for you. Lord himself paid the price for you and shared your life. The love of God. Hallelujah. Be blessed. Be blessed. Be blessed. Amen. No, we don't mind at all. This is exactly what we're doing it for. Make Jesus famous. Exactly. At a show. God bless you. Jesus Behold, loves Emma, you. Behold, I'm coming quickly. Amen. Ya priduskora. Ja i Dusko. Shalom. Aleikum. Slava Bogu. Salam aleikum. Shalom aleikum. Slava Bogu.